You are now listening to the How to Evolve podcast. You can find this channel on Twitter, GabThatAI, BitChute, and Minds.com. This is a Real American Patriot channel for Real American Patriots. If you're not a Real American Patriot, please exit the channel. Furthermore, we are not sponsored by any outside interference. That means we're unscripted, unrehearsed, and unedited. With that being said, transmission will commence momentarily. How you guys doing? Welcome to the Holly Vault Podcast. My name is Stefan. Find me at minds.com, bitchute, twitter, gap.com. What's the point? Like, share, and subscribe. Go around us until the wheel fall off. On that note, guys, let's start the show. This episode, I'm going to talk about, you know, throughout the years, there's a lot of been race baiter. People are race based calipers, like Jesse Jackson, all right? most most notably, Al Sharpton, Elijah Cummings, John Lewis. These race baiting people. The only excuse is race, 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 this, race, that. Everything is race, 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 race. All right. Don Lemon is race. Victor Blackwell race. Ryan Jones race. Race, 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 race. They don't they don't think anything else besides race. These these emotional bastards right here. All right. Excuse my language. All right. When everything there's a problem, they complain, nag, and use racism as an excuse, as a scapegoat. Everything is race to them, these people. In this article, I want to show you guys here, Donald Trump finally called one of these race baiter out, especially Al Sharpton. He's a major race baiter. He's the not, this, ever since he's on the scene, there's no improvement. He always, he's not, he's prov- not providing solutions. He's a failed presidential candidate, right? He's working for fake news, MSNBC, right? Anything he have this, this grandiose, you know, persona, like, come on, man. You haven't achieved anything. What have you achieved? What have you achieved? Right? Let's read this article right here. Let's read this article. I, I just want to tell you guys, without you guys, this channel would not happen. So I really, really appreciate it. And here's the article. From right, I'll leave the article in the, in the link, the, in the description. Donald Trump, Al Sharpton, is a con man who hates white cops, white and cops, right? This guy is a, is a con man. This guy right here, this imbecile right here, race baiter, never find a solution, never solve any problem, always use race as, a, race as an excuse. Try to compare him to Martin Luther King, right? This guy right here, this guy, this joke, this clown right here, never accomplished anything. Fake reverend, all right? President Trump defied El Sharpton Monday after the veteran black activist. Uh, activist is another way of saying loudmouth. Activist never accomplished anything, like, just like Al Sharpton. He's an activist which never accomplished anything. He's a loudmouth, right? That's what activism is. Activist is just a loudmouth who never accomplished anything, right? If you accom- if you're so good, how come you haven't been elected in the office? Try to change things from the inside out. Never have done that. People don't. He's not. A, he's not a pleasant guy to be around. With. He's not. He. People don't like him. I, I mean, I can say I can't say all people like him. I don't like him. All right. Obviously, people don't like him enough to vote him into a higher position. All right. Prepare to protest the president for his comment criticizing Elijah Cummings. He deserved to be criticized. Elijah Cummings been ruling his ruining his. I don't say ruling. I say ruining. R u i n i i n g. Ruining his district for the past twenty plus years. All right. With rat infestations. You deserve to be criticized. If you fail to run your city, you f- you're, you're, you're fair game, right? Al is a, is a con man, a troublemaker, always looking for um, a score, just doing things Trump wrote. Most have intimidated Comcast, NBC, hate white and cops, all right? And that's, and that's good for Trump pointing them out, all right? He is a con man. He never achieved anything. Here's his tweet. I have known Al, and who, who, who known Al Sharpton more many years than Donald Trump? Donald Trump know Al Sharpton in this tweet right here. I have known Al Sharpton for 25 years, went to fight with him, and Don King always got along well. He loved Trump. He, he would ask for me for favors often. Al is a con man. He's a troublemaker, always looking for a score, just doing his thing. Must have intimidate. Comcast hate white cops exactly, so Donald Trump know him. Donald Trump been been around him for twenty five years, and he should know him, all right. And he's exposing him. That's what Donald Trump is doing. He's exposing these hypocrites, all right. 
Al Sharpton arriving in D.C. Atlanta heading to Baltimore. La to what? To race bait again? This guy's a clown. Look at this. Look at his jack butt. <laughs> on his MSNBC Sunday, Sharpton criticized Shrek for insulting racial insult towards Cummings in Baltimore. See, everything's in his race. Race this, race that. And that's not how you run your city. You can't criticize you because you're failing. Just because you're failing, you have to associate with race. That, make any, that does not make any sense. So basically, when you're failing, you can't tell them that you're failing without resorting to race. Right? They use race as a scapegoat, as an excuse for not taking responsibility for themselves. That's why it is. They use race for deflecting responsibility. Shout to lecture Republicans for looking the other way. Trump continued his blatant dehumanizing racial rant. Yeah, yeah, like your word hold any grounds. That was endorsed by his base. Shut up, Al Sharpton. Here's here's what we have: blatant raw racism, cricket, and Republican Party. Sharpton said, "This is coming from a race baiter who always uses race as an excuse." As a prominent New York businessman, Donald Trump said on Twitter that he had known Sharpton for 25 years, got along well with him when he went to boxing fight with Don King. He loved Trump. He wrote, "He would ask me for favors often." I just wrote read that. Sharpton wrote on the Twitter on Sunday. He was preparing to travel to Baltimore. Long day, but go can't stop, he wrote. Yeah, because you're a race baiting. Son of a SOB. Shotton announced plan for money protest in Baltimore with former Republican National Committee Chairman Michael Steele to criticize Trump. Remind, Michael Steele is a deep stater. He's a rhino, right? Michael Steele and I told a presser in Baltimore to address the Trump remark and bipartisan outrage in the black community. Yeah, Michael Steele's a deep stater. He's not even a real Republican. Why do you think he's always become a pundit on these um, fake news like MSNBC and CNN? Ridiculous. Participate in an already scheduled conference in black economy agenda. Shouting and Steele to decry Trump remark about Baltimore leadership. Say all you want. It is what it is. Baltimore is a piece of dump. All right. We are Baltimore. Okay, if you if you if you are Baltimore, why aren't you guys gathering around clean up the house, demolish the house? <laughs> right? If you guys are so united, why don't you guys clean up, tell kids not to do crime? Is that you know doesn't seem unification to me? The president repeat Baltimore has the worst crime statistic in the country. Exactly. Twenty five years of all talk, no action. Exactly. All talk, no action by Elijah Cummings, he wrote. He tried to listen to the same old bull next. Reverend Al Sharpton will show up to complain and protest. Exactly, complain and protest. Nothing will get done for the people in, what, in, for the, in, the, in the needs. Sad. That's what Donald Trump said. Exactly. All these people will complain, nag, why, and never find any solutions. That's what race baiter do. Al Sharpton, complain, whine, nag. Complain, whine, nag. Baltimore... Under the leadership of Elijah Cummings has the worst crime statistic in 25 years. To talk, no action. It's exactly, no action at all. So try to listen to some old bull, Reverend Al Sharpton, come up with complaining and protest. Nothing will ever get done for, in, for people in need. Sad. Which is true. Nothing ever get done. Sharpton responds with a photo of Trump himself in Sharpton National Action Network convention. Trump and NAN convention 2006 telling James Brown, Jesse Jackson, why he respect the word he wrote different time look at this all these guys right here all these guys race baiter race they like to use race as excuse for their own failures all right every failure they have is racism they never take responsibility for their own action they like to blame blame other people for their failures trump said the word seldom attempt attend sharpton events but did it as a personal favor to the activist, he claimed that Sharpton eventually apologized for his criticizing of the president during his 2016 campaign. He came to my office, Trump Tower, during a presidential campaign to apologize for the way he was talking about me. He wrote, just a con man at work. Exactly. Al Sharpton would always ask me to give him events. He would said, it's a personal favor to me. Seldom, but sometime I would go and it would be fine. I came to my office in Trump Tower during the presidential campaign and apologize for the way he was talking about me just as a con man works. That's what a con man do. Never trust a snake, like Al Sharpton. 
Trump taunted Democrats to defending Cummings and the squad, the leftist member of the Congress. If the Democrats are going to defend ra a radical left squad, King Elijah Baltimore fails. It would be a long road to 2020, he wrote. The good news is that Dems is that they are having the fake news media on their pockets. Exactly. I think that's what Trump is doing. He's trying to attack Cummings, Lewis, all these Congress people, right? So they could so what Trump needs to right now, he he's attacking as much Congress people because he need he need the House on his side. He need the House to get things done. As right now, the House is ruled by Democrats. All right. So this is more forty chess playing by the president. Forty chess playing by the president. He attacked the four people. He attacked Nancy Pelosi. He attacked the four horsemen of the po horsewomen of the apocalypse. Elijah Cummings. All these um, Congress people, right? Because he need Congress right now. He have to ask the Senate already. He need the House to get his thing done. At the way he's going, the Democrat doesn't look good right now. He's exposing them. He's exposing every Democrat right now. He's exposing Elijah Cumming, John Lewis, Maxine Waters, right? He exposing all these people. They're, they're corrupt individuals. They're race baiter. You always use race as an excuse for their own failure, failures. Never take responsibility. Been in, in power, an office for uh, two decades and still hadn't achieved anything yet? Come on now, man. You should have get it at least within two years within your, your time in office. You haven't achieved nothing yet. These these people, these um these four horse this squad, right? They haven't achieved anything yet. And think they, they they have power? AOC, you haven't achieved anything yet? Rashida Tlaib, you haven't achieved nothing yet. Parsley, Ayanna Parsley, Presley, whatever her name is, and Ilhan Omar, you haven't achieved anything yet. And you're talking about you have power? All right, these people, this group of individuals, these race baiters, all they do is nag, complain, and whine, try to be on TV, try to act like celebrity star. What I should tell these people to get your butt into office, work on the plan, and don't be on the cover of a magazine, TV show, and come up with a solution. Stop nagging, stop whining, stop complaining. It's all complain, 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 complain. Every opportunity to get on the camera, they take the opportunity to complain. All right? Complain, complain, whine, 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 nag, 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 nag. Never find a solution. Complaining, whining, nagging will never find any solutions. They never sit in their fat asses in their office try to find a solution. And they won't ever will. They like to be in front of the camera. They like the attention. They're attention whores. That's what they are. All right? They like to be in magazine. But they never want to find any solutions. They want to get paid more. They want raises. But they never want to find any solution to make their district better. All right? I'm, I, I'll stop right there, right? Let me know you agree. You think these people using race as excuse for their own failures? You think they're whining and complainers all the time? Never find a solution? I would like to know your comment. Leave your comment below. And to let you guys know, you too don't want to monetize my channel because I'm unscripted and rehearsed and edit. That means I'm not scripted by any outside interference. Because of that, I'm not taking any, any donations. Right? Because the point of this channel is to get you to wake up. Right? When you wake up, that's a good enough incentive for me. If you like what I do, please like, share, and subscribe. Because when you like, share, and subscribe, it encourages me to make, make more videos. When I make more videos, I saturate YouTube algorithm. When I saturate YouTube algorithm, algorithm right, <coughs> it'll make my video more expensive to a broader audience. Within those broader audience, I might enlighten them to think for themselves. Because that's the point of this channel. To think for yourself. Right? Not to be a group thinker. Group thinker affects people's livelihood. Group thinker are communist, Marxist, socialist, democrat. Black Lives Matter, Antifa, those are group thinkers. They affect people by implementing stupid rules, taking people rights away, sending people money. Those are group thinkers. When you think for yourself, it's not affecting me. That, that's why I consider it as, a, consider it as a, an incentive for me. You have to say, you don't have to agree with me everything I say. But at least think for yourself. If you like what I do, please like, share, and subscribe. On that note, guys, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. I know your time is very precious, and I try, to wish it, try not to waste any of your time. This is the Hollywood Podcast. You guys have a good day. Peace.